Welcome to a game that has less population than Vatican City. Welcome to Halo 5. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to script a door. A door you may ask? In 2019 on Halo 5, the madman, they said that I was crazy. Well my friends, I have no other skills in life so I thought I would bring you this video three years later when I should have made it. Since scripting has uh, been changed over the years of Halo 5 and this game is having a dwindling population I am still asked to this day how do I script a door? I am here to give you such knowledge and power to leave me the fuck alone. So let's get started shall we? So first to start off with this we need a door so let's go ahead and make a door. So now we have to figure what kind of door we want. Do we want a sliding open door? Do we want a double door? Do we want a door that rises up to the heavens? Do we want a door that doesn't hit your ass on the way out? These can all be adjusted. So first we're going to start off with a very simple, simple door. So we're going to start off with a door that sides from the left to the right. Hopefully you're able to be keep along with this absolute primitive thing we gotta do is actually you know script the door and make it so we can open it so we're gonna make the door slide from right from the right to the left so the way we do this is that we're gonna go into our object library uh, I am on Windows 10 you can use uh, you can do this on Xbox this will be the exact same layout you absolute fucking filth All right so you need to go into your extras and then go down to scripting uh, and then there should be a switch. Uh, I'm going to use the switch terminal. I know the switches will do. The secret switch, you cannot see the interaction. So, we spawned in our switch, right? So this is the situation so far. Nothing happens. Door went open. Nothing will happen. Uh, I can't do anything. Can't boost. Can't interact. I can teabag it and nothing happens. You know, nothing at all. So, what we have to do is we have to actually, you know, script the damn thing. So, the first very, very simple thing to do, and don't worry, even you, the primitive, can figure this out. You need to go to your object properties, right? Uh, object properties. Go to your object properties, or your forge options, and then go down here to script, add script, and then you're going to add a script. Now, the first thing you need to do is, when we interact with this, we need to make this a power state. So, go over here. Go on to interaction. Don't worry, I will explain it. Interaction is basically when you press a button and you interact with the object. Imagine that. Wow, aren't you smart? Right, let's go over to here to power state. So basically, power state uh, is basically switching something on and off. At the minute, it's sending to a channel alpha. Basically, what channel you're going to be switching this object on and off. And at the minute we have a toggled state, so that means we could turn it on and off. You could set it to just on or just off. So at the minute we're going to keep it toggled, but you can choose whatever sort of door uh, you have. Uh, this will just be relative to the activator, the press activator, or the objects, but you always want this on activator. Um, so now we got that done, now we actually move over to here, and for this we're going to need two scripts, okay? But for now we'll just start with the starter script, okay? So we're going to start on uh, on power check alpha on, okay? Imagine that. So that's done for you there. So now you're going to go all the way over here in your do, do do, do do greens, and you're going to go onto horizontal. Green is white. Yeah, you're going to go. <laughs> I'm fucking dumb. You're going to go onto your horizontal, and you're going to start, you know, changing this. Uh, I just like to wing it and guess, so I'm just going to guess around about 10. Uh, and then you need to change your time, so the slower you want the door to move, uh, the more time you're going to add. If the door is bigger, then you're going to have to configure with this. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, this is how the door opens, but how are we going to get the door to close? Well then, here is how you do it. It is very simple. You go into your second script. You go over to power state, turn it off, and then you just go here, position and rotation reset. So what this does, basically, instead of doing the opposite axis on the first script, this is position reset, so therefore it will return to its original spawn point, where its original place was, pretty much, this here. 
so it will default back to the state and usually when you do it uh, so this is like positive 10 instead of negative uh, it will actually glitch out because Halo 5 is made in 2016 and on the Xbox One so uh, you know there's some limitations uh, with this technology but hey it, it works okay the one thing that I like to do uh, especially when it comes to scripting this is completely optional but um, I like to add every time I interact with this uh, I like to add a sound effect to know that I've actually pressed a button because Halo 5's uh, thing doesn't uh, doesn't uh, the button indication doesn't disappear it always stays active so if you want to do that you just hit sound play change the players to activate it if you just want to hear it the client or if you want everyone to hear it switch it to players but I'm gonna have it as activator for now and uh, I just say to a negative sound or you can choose whatever sound I recommend you if you do this uh, just test with the sounds so we're gonna do that gonna hit this and now we're gonna hit E look at that it moves in the completely opposite fucking direction like I said but hey it works but if I wanted to change the direction of it it is very simple my friend it is very simple all I have to do is either rotate the object like an absolute genius or just do this like that so now that it's positive 15 I can do that now we've done that now we press E on it and look at that it opens with efficiency oh boy isn't that a nice looking door simple and sleek like mummy's baby oil now the one thing that you may be asking hmm, what if they could just spam the door because you can and will it mess up with the scripting now occasionally it can mess up with the scripting but because we have that position reset on the door doesn't actually break from its original path so therefore you won't get any glitchiness yes it will may sometimes break the scripting but all you have to do is just let it play out its course and uh uh, default back to its original state. It's Halo 5 so it isn't perfect but it works. Now say if I want to activate this door but I don't want anyone to close it while the door is being pressed pretty much. So as the door is opening you cannot uh, open the door or like you can't close it on someone. This is very simple as well so basically we're going to need to create a new script here uh, in Forge Objects right. Add a new script uh, then you're going to go on interaction uh, and then you're going to go over here to interaction off I believe, uh, interaction state, switch interactivity, yep here you go, so switch interactivity, turn that off and then you go on to go on to the wait time and then this wait time is basically how long you want it to, uh, to be stopped for, I'm going to leave it up for about 4 seconds and then you're going to want to apply the switch interactivity to back on again like that and we're going to have a little chime play where the sound is done when it's able to be interacted with again so we're going to have uh, I think I just went past it no nope, there it is so we're going to have that to the activator uh, for the client and we're going to have a little positive sound effect Let's do positive one. So now if we go back into Forge, if we interact with this, as you can see it goes away and it comes back on again after the door is open. And do the same when it closes and it comes back on again. So as you see it's very simple and very easy to do. So now you may ask, this door is a bit boring so how can I make a more elaborate door? Well, we can do it so, you know, half of it closes, half of it opens. And this can be very simple to do with my scripting knowledge and power in 2019. I know, it's not a very good title. But, if we come over here, put that halfway, control D, enable magnets, so we can dupe this over easier, quicker, press, uh, rotate it. 
Okay, so all you do is basically you flip the object around on its axis and then you just put it back to where you want it. I'm doing a very shoddy job here of aligning all this up, but you know, bear with me. So now if uh, if we go into four, uh, if we interact with this, it should open up nicely. And because it's on the same channel and is the exact same object, just flipped 180 degrees, it will behave the same way as well. Uh, so yeah, it's really simple and really easy to do. Uh, so yeah, and you can apply this to any direction that you want. Uh, so if you want to go up and down, it's literally a matter of retaining it. So this is the very bare basics of how to make a door uh, interactable. You can make it uh, via doing this way as well. You can make uh, objects spawn and stuff. Uh, but I may cover that in another video because that's quite elaborate uh, what you can do with doors but as I said it varies on the door frame and door size where you can this is obviously just a very basic bare minimum uh, design that you can do uh, but hopefully this will help you out in 2019 where literally no one plays this game anymore so I'm glad that I'm catering to an audience you know while I sit in the corner and cry <laughs> Thank you for watching this uh, very interesting and very complex and in-depth video on how to script a door in Halo 5. I really hope it was worth the time and effort that I did for this. Uh, probably no effort at all to be honest because I'm a lazy fuck. But I hope you stay tuned for hopefully if this is well received maybe I'll do some more elaborate scripting videos you know. Gets into the real meat and juices of it. But um, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, stop fucking bothering me about how to make a door now, you can do it yourself, you lazy fuck.